Hi friends, this is Anna with Scrapping Stampin' Stuff. I'm glad to be back again with another card making video for you. So over the weekend, we had World Card, card Making Day and I posted quite a few challenges for you to participate in if you wanted to. And one of my challenges was a black and white card and then I had a whole bunch of other ones, but I really enjoyed seeing what all of you had to share all the things that you created. You're still welcome to post those. You're welcome to post anytime in my Facebook group, but feel free to keep posting those. But I had a lot of fun with that black and white challenge and several of you shared cards that you had made with the painted poppy set. It has been such a long time since I have grabbed this set and made a project with for one of my videos with it. So I decided it was time to get it out and use it. So you all inspired me to get this set back out. So it has also been a little while since I've made simple stamping cards. Very simple and basic cards that you can make in just a few minutes. So we are going to do three cards with one cardstock, just white cardstock. We are just using black ink and we are just using this painted poppy stamp set, except for I, this one doesn't have any greetings in it, so I pulled in one greeting stamp from the Free as a Bird stamp set. And this, this one has such nice greetings in it. I picked out the one that says, the world needs more of you. So one stamp set, one ink, one paper, and we're going to make some really pretty cards. So the first card, all we're going to do use is this plain white card base. Measures five and a half by eight and a half. Folded in half is the standard size for A2 cards like I usually make. And I decided I wanted to make a border along the edge with the leaves and possibly both of these. I haven't decided for sure. But we will decide as we go along here and maybe this little leaf and we'll see how this goes. I really like that this set has these fun texture stamps. So we'll see what this looks like and then I may grab that little texture stamp and get it out as well. So I have my black memento ink. And I think the way I'll start this is just by stamping a couple of these big poppies. Stamp that one off the edge a little bit. Now I'll stamp a couple of these smaller ones. And now let's try to fill in in between with some leaves. I always just kind of play around with these. I don't ever know how they're going to fit together and look until I just start playing with it. So put those on there now. I'm So if you noticed, I use my bigger stamps first, and then I'm going to try to fill in with the smaller ones after. It's definitely easier to do it that way and fill in your gaps with your smaller stamps. So I'm stamping these with black and white, as you can see, but if you like a little color, it would be really easy to come back in and color these in. You could add, use colored pencils, you could use some aqua painters. Lots of ways to add some color pretty easily to those. All right, so I think I like that, and I'm going to use the same greeting stamp on all of them. I just need to decide where to put it. We could put it in the center. A lot of times I like to offset them. I think I like it right here, over here on the right side. So right there. So there's one very simple card. Let's move on to a second one. For this one, I have a normal size card base and I have a piece of cardstock that measures two and one quarter inches by five and a half. So on this one, I'm gonna start with a smaller piece and I really like this big stamp with all the little poppies. So I wanna stamp this a few times. 
start over here on the left side and then we'll work our way to the right to fill in this whole piece with this. And these are going to overlap a little bit. Okay, and now I can decide if I want to try and get anything over here on the corner or not. I think I am going to stamp one more time and try and fill in just a little gap right there on the edge. Okay, so we have that piece. Now I am just planning on putting that right here on this card. And then we'll stamp our greeting down here. So I'll lay it right there while I do stamp the greeting and then we'll attach it afterwards. This is kind of a handy trick. If you stamp your greeting now and you mess it up, you can always place your, uh, I could always place this piece a little bit lower and cover it up if I need to. But we always stamp perfectly the first time, right? Right, right, Anna. Just agree with me. Just kidding. We all mess up sometimes. Okay, so I'll put my dimensionals on the back. So I'll pop this up. Then we're going to have a third card to make. I actually have a fourth one to show you that I already made. And then I have a fun little embellishment trick that we will add at the very end to all of them. Okay, so there's card number two. Now for card number three, I have my card base and I have three pieces that measure one and a half inches by three inches. So for these, I got this stamp that I thought was really neat. And we're going to stamp one of these onto each of these pieces of cardstock. You know what? I thought about changing up the color a little bit on these. I'm going to stamp off on my cardstock one time. And now I'm going to stamp that way. I'm going to have one that's faded a little bit and two that are darker. And you know what? We're going to change this up again. I'm going to flip this one over and re-stamp. I'm going to stamp off two times. And stamp the third time on there. That way we have a dark, a medium, and a light. I think that will be a nice, nice change for that one. So on this one, let's put our dimensionals on the back. So if you have any simple stamping card ideas, I would love to see them. I think it's fun to make some simple cards sometimes. I love to do all the techniques and all the fun, fancy stuff, but sometimes it's nice just to make some nice, simple cards that only take a few minutes. This is our take your pick tool. If you follow along with me, you have seen this several times. It's really handy for moving our dimensionals around, taking that paper backing off. So I wanna get this done so I can show you our fun, fun embellishment trick. Okay, so we'll lay these on here, and I'm going to lay them on upside down to get my placement right. And actually, if I want to do my stamping for my greeting, I better do that. So I'll ink this stamp up, and I think I'll put this one in the center. I do not often put my greetings in the center, but let's go out on a limb today, right? We'll put that right there. And now let's line these up and figure out where they need to be. Okay, that looks good. So now I'll just flip them over one by one and attach them on. So 
So we'll go from the dark on the left side to the light on the right side. I think that looks neat. Okay, and there is card number three. So I'll bring back in the ones we already made. There was card number two, I think. Here was card number one. Here is a fourth one I made that I stamped those leaves on the background and the greeting, and then I just stamped the poppy onto it another piece of white and punched it out with our two inch circle punch. So I was looking at embellishments to pick out because with these really simple cards, a lot of times I like to add some kind of embellishment to add a little bit of interest. And I decided to get out my frost white shimmer paint. We have shimmer paint in two colors. This is our white one. So a lot of times what I do is I shake it up and when you take the cap off, there is a fair amount of paint right there in the cap. And I'm going to use my aqua painter and I'm going to pick that paint up and paint with it. Now, if you do this, be aware that you're going to have shimmers in your aqua painter tip. And it may, even after you're done with this, may take a little while to get rid of all of those. So be aware of that. And if you don't like that, you can use a different paintbrush. That's fine. But I kind of like how the water painter waters it down a little bit, so it's not quite as thick as regular paint, but it adds a really pretty shimmer, and I'll try to show you this to you up close here in a minute. But this will add just a nice touch to make these a little bit more exciting than just black and white. Okay, so I'm just doing the flowers, and I'm going to pick this up and see if I can get that to shimmer and shine for you. I think you can see that. So I just really like how the shimmer paint makes the projects look when you add a little bit of it. You can use it a lot of different ways, and I am hoping to do a video here soon showing you quite a few of those. But you can add splatters, you can just use it on certain parts of your projects. You can stamp with it if you want, but you can really do a lot of neat things with it. And I'm not being careful at all with this. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but I'm just doing kind of a messy look, kind of like if I was doing watercolor. These, I'll add it here on the flower and the bud. So that just takes a second. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add it to the leaf. We don't want the leaf to feel left out. So there we have it on the flowers and the leaves. And this one, I will mention this paint dries pretty fast. I probably could go ahead and stack those and I don't think it would get on the backs of the other ones just in case I'll leave them separate. On this one, I'm just gonna do a few here and there. I'm not going to do all of them. Just a few accent flowers. So there you can see them shimmering. So that's a fun little tip to add a little bit of shimmer to your projects with our shimmer paint. So I hope you enjoyed this today with our painted puppy set and some really simple cards. I hope you join in again next time. You can see more on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com and I hope you have a wonderful day.